It is time for back to school, but even among the excitement of this time of year, if you're also worried about your child's safety, you are far from alone. Yeah, far from it. No matter the district or the age of your student, school safety a huge concern in the wake of the horrific shooting in Uvalde. In recent years, the Texas legislature passed laws to address school safety and mental health concerns among students. It happened after yet another school shooting in the state. That time it was at Santa Fe High School outside of Houston. In today's case, that explains we break down those pieces of legislation and what they were intended to do. On May 18th, 2018, a teenage gunman shot 12 people at Santa Fe High School. 10 of those victims died. Just over a year later, on June 6, 2019, Governor Greg Abbott signed into law several bills aimed at making Texas schools safer. Laws that will do more than Texas has ever done to make our schools safer places. The legislation focuses on a handful of areas, adding funding, increasing training, adding mental health resources, and creating councils and committees that are supposed to make sure the new requirements are followed. First up is Senate Bill 11. It created the school safety allotment. It sets aside $50 million a year. Now, the way this allotment works is actually extremely simple. They appropriate that amount of money and then you divide that amount of money by the amount of students in the state. So it's what's considered a per pupil, a per student allotment. Josh Sanderson is deputy director of the Equity Center, a nonprofit that works with more than 600 school districts on finances. He says that allotment created by SB 11 amounts to $9.72 per student for school safety each year. So. You've got some very large districts that have a lot of children, a lot of students that can generate a pretty significant amount of revenue, but those districts are few and far between. If you look at the vast majority of the districts in the state, they're getting, getting an absolute pittance compared to what they're actually having to spend on school safety. Senate Bill 11 went beyond creating the school safety allotments. We'll get into that in a moment. But when it comes to what schools spend on safety, other bills out of the 2019 legislature addressed that too. There was Senate Bill 500. It provided a grant for schools to amp up their safety measures. It set aside $100 million for Texas schools to apply for in 2019 and 2020. And that was designed essentially to help schools go in and retrofit their facilities, doors, locks, vegetable entrances and exits, vegetables and that, that, that type of thing. That, that was a one-time grant though, so remember it doesn't happen year over year. SB 500 also gave $11 million to Santa Fe High School. All of that money was pulled from the state's rainy day fund. Hiring and training officers for schools was also top of mind for lawmakers. House Bill 1387 removed the limit of school marshals on campuses. A school marshal is a school employee with a concealed handgun license. They're appointed by the school board and undergo training. House Bill 2195 required school districts to have an active shooter emergency plan and for school officers to undergo active shooter response training. Senate Bill 1707 clarifies the duties of an on-campus officer. Those duties are not to include routine discipline enforcement. House Bill 496 required bleeding kits on campus and for students and staff to be trained on how to use them. Three bills that legislative session also focused on students who are considered a possible threat. Harassment was added to the list of reasons that a student could be expelled. Students suspended for making terroristic threats must have equal access to school work and if they're able to transition from an alternative school back to a regular campus that must be done in five days and schools are required to do regular reviews of that student's grades and behavior mental health was also a big focus for lawmakers after the santa fe shooting so let's go back to senate bill 11. why do you think we are here why do you think we continue to have mm. these problems with shootings and episodes at our school what's what's the underlying fundamental problem here so the clearly uh, you know the underlying problem here is a behavioral one sb 11 created the child mental health care consortium 12 medical schools across texas including ut health in san antonio are part of that group it has five initiatives the biggest being teach at that's texas child health access through telemedicine so it's a partnership with schools the schools sign up uh, then counselors can offer the service to uh, children and adolescents in those schools. So they talk to the parents. If the parents consent, then they're referred to us and we provide whatever mental health services are needed. And there's no cost to a family. 
Dr. Stephen Plitzka, a psychiatrist with UT Health, says the reason students would be referred to this program can vary from being stressed to dealing with severe cases of depression and anxiety. We've been seeing increases over the last decade, really, but they have become more pronounced. So we're seeing, you know, 600 visits a month. The other initiatives within the consortium include the Child Psychiatry Access Network, a hotline for primary care doctors to get advice on how to help a patient. There are also initiatives aimed at research to improve mental health care for kids, increasing the number of child psychiatrists in Texas, and treating patients through a partnership with the Center for Healthcare Services. Families that just didn't know how to go to the mental health system, now the school can just hand them a phone number that they can, or we'll call them even, uh, so that it reduces the barriers that people had to jump over. But it's not just medical professionals trying to increase mental health awareness. House Bills 18 and 19 increase training for educators to help identify mental health needs in students and requires each region in the state to have one mental health professional who is not a doctor. Their goal is to educate school staff on mental health and substance abuse and ways for students to get help. Then, just last week... I created a, a new position of the chief school safety officer uh, in the Texas Education Agency. Governor Greg Abbott says that officer will work to make sure schools meet the requirements. During that same press conference in North Texas, he also touched on those school safety laws passed in 2019, saying this. We can see from what happened in Uvalde uh, that in fact those laws either did not have teeth or they were not fully complied with. So there is work to be done and help is needed. Dr. Pliska told us that UT Health needs more mental health professionals for students and they are hiring. So if you're interested, we have contact information on our website. Scan this QR code. It will take you to the Case That Explains webpage. That's where you can find that info and this story along with all the other topics we have covered so far.